Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm creating some happy mail for a pen pal. I thought it would be fun to create a December daily page for her to put in her album if she wanted to, so that's what I'm working on first. The cards and the papers that I'm using in today's project um, are from Pebbles. I believe it's the Home for Christmas collection from last year or the year before. If it's still online, I will try to find it and link it down below for you guys in case you're interested. But here I just put on some silver glitter thickers that spell out 2017, and I thought it would be fun to create a shaker pocket. Um, in front of the Project Life card. So I'm using some white seed beads and then that sequin mix is from Paper Cakes and I will leave a link to Serena shop down below. I don't know if this same exact mix is still available or not but I will leave a link to her shop and you can go check it out and see what she has available. She switches up her sequin mixes all the time so there's always something new over there so and they're really cute. I mean and there's like a ton of stuff in them <laughs> so shameless plug for my friend Serena's shop and her amazing sequin mixes. Um, this paper again is from Pebbles and I'm creating like a little pocket to go inside of the pocket on the page because I wanted to have like a little file folder-esque type situation going on. So I'm just backing that lined journaling card with some plain red cardstock so my pen pal can like do some journaling and stuff on the lined part and then add some photos or decorations or something to the back if she wants and I just trimmed down the sides and I'm using the corner rounder. They don't quite match up perfectly, but I think it's fine. And then here I'm using a stamp set from L Studio and some stays on ink to stamp onto a clear acetate tab that I cut out with my Sizzix. And I don't know where the tab like die is from. Again, if I can figure it out, <laughs> I will try to link it down below. And here I'm just going through my die cut stash because I wanted the colors to match. I wasn't sure if my pen pal was using like traditional red and green for her December daily or if she was using like kind of more frosty like pinks and blues and things. So I thought this collection kind of covered all the bases. So that's why I went with these colors and I went with like a silver glitter theme kind of running throughout and that little snowman guy is so cute. He's from the Target Dollar Spot I believe last year and I'm just layering down some more washi because that's kind of my thing. So this card or pocket I suppose is just about done. I'm going to staple on one more embellishment to the back. I did want to leave some open space in case my pen pal wanted to put some pictures and stuff. I mean obviously she probably would because it's for December daily. Um, but yeah, here I'm just embellishing this little journal card a little bit more and I'm folding over the clear plastic tab so that the stamping is on the inside so there's no chance of it like rubbing off or getting on anything. Uh, so that just slides right in there and I paper clipped that little heart on with a cute minty colored cozy bobby pin. And then I thought I would go ahead and decorate the side of the pocket letter, like where the holes are. I'm not actually going to re-punch the holes um, because I don't know which album my pen pal is using. So I don't know if she just needs two holes or six, but this is what the little pocket page looks like right now. And I hope that she really likes it, but I like it. I think it turned out really cute. I like the little pullout thing. I think the shaker pocket on the back is really cute and there's still room for photos and lots of journaling and stuff. So I hope that she really enjoys it. And to send this, I'm actually going to create a matching little bag flip. So I went ahead and covered a red bag from the Dollar Tree in that same poinsettia paper with the blue background. And I'm just layering up some more of that red glitter washi again, just to kind of tie everything together. That's so very merry. Um, square thing is from a past messy box I believe and I created that bobby pin like embellishment thing in one of my recent DIY happy mail goodies videos a lot of these things actually are from those videos it's a whole series I have on my channel so if you're interested in creating DIY like happy mail things to include in your happy mail uh, from things that you already have in your stash make sure to check out my playlist for it which I will link down below so those little shaker rosettes are in that playlist, the bobby pin thing, there's some more bobby pins over there on the right that they're kind of covered up right now, the zine is in there, so I think, I don't know, I think it was really fun this year to create a whole bunch of stuff to include in Happy Mail. I'm also going to include some of these like foam glitter shape things that I got at the Dollar Tree, some cute little straws, you saw everything else that I've already kind of put in there, so there's like charms, little pocket pages in there 
and right now I'm trying to figure out if I want to do like a combination of twine so that's what I wind up doing. I do the light blue and the red because I again I thought it tied everything together and my pen pal could reuse it if she wants. So I'm just tying a bow and kind of rearranging things how I want them to be so that it looks cute when it gets to her. <laughs> but that is just about it for today's video you guys. I hope that you're enjoying Vidmas. Um, if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and please do so. I'm doing a video every single day this month and I know you don't want to miss any of those. This is the finished project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!